So you're back and you know you're wondering if your relationship is going somewhere you know yeah in Zambia and you're wondering that honestly but you know you clicked on this video so that you can know if they're lying to you if they're being truthful or if it's just all in your head you know today I'm going to confirm those things for you I know some of you you know the answer it's deep it's deep down in you but you know you're just in denial but you, you just want, you don't want to come to terms with yourself don't worry let me help you get there with me i have a list of things that most of the time guys lie about okay but before we start this video i have to show you guys something wait so there's this there's this company that gave me this stopper yeah i like love it you guys gave it to me for my bathroom and it works so well i'm like so obsessed with it i've been using it like all day you guys i just feel like it's an essential part of this bathroom and it just like brings my whole bathroom together okay welcome back to my youtube channel everybody if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and don't forget to like welcome to another iwe baby video sorry for not uploading in a long time but you just know i got you guys every week and also for those of you guys who are intending subscribers welcome and welcome back today i compiled um a few things that you guys really need to see i know a lot of you guys have been asking me because how do I know if he's lying? No, if it's what? No, it's okay. No, it's not a lot of you guys have been asking me, why am I lying? <laughs> not a lot of you guys have been asking me. You know, a lot of YouTubers do this. No, a lot of you guys have been asking me to see my wardrobe when no one has been asked you, you know? Me, only one person asked me this and I don't know why I'm saying a lot of you guys have been asking me. So, these are some of the things that your boyfriend, your friends, guys in general, your fathers, your uncles, whatever, everybody, baby, lies about. Number one, first things first, if they've had too much to drink. If if you have got a friend who clubs, or if you have friends like mine, you know, you, when you go out, you always have to come back with someone being drugged, or someone on your on your back, you know? Or some, yeah. <clears throat> you even start feeling like, okay, no, at least time to a poll, we'll find him tomorrow morning. If you have a friends like that, I'm sure you despise that guys always, they never admit how much they've had to drink. So if... He feels as if he's there. He won't admit that, no, oh, okay, no, that's too much for me. <laughs> it takes a real man to admit that that's too much for him. Especially when there are girls around, so, hmm, you just know. <laughs> anyway, so, when they have too much to drink, they, they feel as if, no, everybody else is still on their feet, uh, let me keep on going. That demon telling you to keep on going, please, if you're, if you're lat and you're watching this, that demon telling you to keep on going, avoid it by all means. You end up waking up in the drainage in the, in the middle of the morning, you know? Or you find yourself in police cells. Because that's shishita. <laughs> if you're in Zambia, you know what shishita is. <laughs> and then don't play. <laughs> One thing that guys lie about. How many times they go to the gym? Guys, if it's something that guys lie about, it's how many times they go to the gym. No cap, okay? So, if um, most of the times we find uh, a muscular guy, you find the gyms every day. Let me just say every day. Let it be before work, early morning before work, and after work, he's going to the gym. Let someone, a girl, ask him, Oh, Danny, how many times have you got to the gym? And he's going to be like, Babe, I don't go to the gym. Oh, I only go there once a week. Sometimes I don't even go the whole week. You're like, Uh. <laughs> and some guys, you find that. Nothing is manifesting on that body, you know, no back, no abs, no six pack, you know, no, what, what do you call this, biceps, I don't know, triceps, I can't remember biology very well, but yeah, biceps, triceps, those things, but I go to the, I go to the gym every week, I go to the gym thrice a day, like, yo, <laughs> we know you're lying, we just, that we, we keep quiet, we keep, we keep some things to ourselves, it's just same as us liking your pictures because we know you. Be because we know you, that's why we keep quiet. You know, otherwise we didn't know you. It was gonna be another issue. Hmm. Something else that guys lie about. How your body looks. Especially for example, if 
yeah, his girlfriend. And you're wearing a dress that doesn't fit you very well. You know, I'm trying to use very good words. I don't want to use words that will, that will look as if I'm triggering someone. Because a lot of you guys like saying, no, Kweso, you like triggering us. You like triggering us. So, you know what? I'm not going to trigger anyone today. I'm just going to use very good words. So, if your body doesn't fit an outfit properly, let's say maybe your stomach has come out, the outfit is too tight. Your stomach has come out, you know, haven't been doing your push-ups or your press-ups or what, what, do you, what do you call those? Push-ups, push eh? Yeah, push-ups, press-ups, yes, and mm, some of you do the pull-ups. <laughs> if your body isn't fitting the outfit well, just find, nah, baby, you look okay. Kanji! In his head, he's like, I wish I never came here. Or I wish I left this girl at home. Because once you go to Chicago, you know, he's going to start seeing other people looking better than you, wearing the same. And so if you wear clothes, you buy clothes from places like Pip, you find someone in the same outfit who's dressed it, always put it on better than you. <laughs> and no matter what, a guy is not going to tell you how fat you look, how slim you look. Never, you guys, you know, you guys never going to that. That's what they lie about. They tell you, no, baby, you look good, but in the sense you don't look good, you need to cut off those carbs, girl. You need to put on some carbs, girl. That's that's the way it is, sadly. But if you love yourself in your own skin, I'm not saying anyone you know, should change. I'm just telling you guys what guys lie about. Where is that history, baby? How interested they are. You know, when guys are interested, they show it. They show it. You know, if you're telling if you're telling a guy about something, maybe let's say you're telling him about something that happened. If a guy is interested, they give feedback as well. Like, I don't I don't know how I can explain this. But guys lie about how interested they are. Sometimes they don't give a damn, yo. He just wants to play PlayStation, he just wants to play among us with his friends online. And then you're just there busy asking him stupid questions that you know he's just he's just like yeah, yeah, tell me more. In the in his head, it's just like, can someone just shut this up? Like, I'm trying to have a normal day here. She's here, this disturbing me, you know. So most guys lie about how interested they are. So, you know, those things that, that, that some of you guys have these kind of characteristics. You like making quotes according to your midlife crisis, you know. Someone's not at someone's not too busy for you, you know, those kind of things that people post because they're going through trauma and when the crushes ignore them, you know. People what that what, what pass through it. It's normal. So most people will be like, okay. Uh how busy are you? No, just because he's seen that quote and they want to make you feel bad is like no, I'm never too busy for you. That's a lie. Everyone is too busy. Just because someone doesn't text you doesn't mean they hate you. It's not the end of the world. The thing is that that thing for no one's too busy. You are never too busy for a person you love. That's a lie. That is a clear lie. I can be busy, and you know, some of us when I'm busy, for example, when I turn on my data, notifications are overflowing. So if I decide to work on my laptop instead of on my phone. People will think I'm ignoring them. Instead, I'm very busy. That that that's a, when I use my laptop instead of my phone. Just know, he's reached the level of busyness that no one's supposed no one's supposed to disturb him. So most guys will lie to you. No, they're never too busy for you. Let me not, let me let me just tell you before you experience heartbreak. Guys get busy, and so when they get busy, it's not nice. They get busy for two days, three days. You know, that's just how it is. Sometimes guy, guys lie at I'm busy. Guys are trying to, they're trying to let you down easy. <laughs> oh, that rhymes. That they're, they're busy, you know. But they're just trying to like. So if sometimes not always that when the guy does you know I'm busy, that they're trying to they're actually being busy. No, sometimes they lie. So it's a yes, a yes or no thing, you know. I'm giving you side both both best of the both worlds times they lie that they're busy because they want to let you go or they just don't want you to be up in the business they don't you be close you know covid this corona and another thing guys lie about is whether they like your friends or not if you know if guys like your friend maybe they like like sometimes they just they just make it look as if they don't like her you know as if they don't they don't mind can't she? <laughs> 
Number one, Mudim. So if you are one of those insecure, insecure girls about your boyfriend, just like, just go check his phone. If you don't know check his phone, ask your home girl. Girl, can I use your phone to do this, 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 and just go. Ka, 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 ka. Boom. You see the you see the conversations, you know, the Romeo and Juliet in the phones. <laughs> God, you, you see, story. Not, not even what happens. Your DM has been shepherd. You start wondering how many times these guys have been talking wireless. Maybe they even text each other wireless they're together. Sometimes they lie about how much they like your friends. Whether they like your friends or not, they lie. So sometimes when they like, don't like your friends, be like, oh, I like that girl, she can't buy with her next time. Sometimes when they like her, like, ah, I don't like that girl, she's too fun of herself. But in the night, my name is she's going to text her. You know, a lot of guys like lying about emotions. I know a lot of guys be vexed about this, but anyway, a lot of guys like lying about emotions. It takes a real, a real person to actually see through people's masks. So when a guy is emotional, like very emotional, maybe let's say upset, crying what kind of emotion goes with crying i think crying is an emotion in its own eye or is it sadness yeah i think sadness <laughs> that was going to be down yeah so most guys they do it with a mask on so sometimes you ask them are you okay like uh, yeah i'm all right in fact not only guys do this a lot of people do this very few people actually like come out and open and be like oh, you know what i'm not okay this has been happening and stuff like that but yeah it's the way life goes. So these are the things that most these are some of the things that guys lie to you about. And if you have got something to add on, drop into my comment box and tell me what else you think guys lie lie about. What else guys have lied to you about? Oh, and guys so lie to you if they like your food because some of you don't know how to cook. So they just be like, mm, baby, you know how to cook, but this time let's go to hungry lion. Just know, just know. And he tells you that it's not like he's trying to spoil you. He's trying not to get diarrhea for the second time. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm done. Let me not continue this list. See you guys next time. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to comment. Let me know what you guys think.